Hey friends, it's David Tenson here from Leader Heart. And if you'd allow me to, for the next few minutes, I would love to pray a blessing over you as we transition from 2017 to 2018. Now I have this prayer um, written out. It's a modification of one that I did a few years ago. Um, and I just really wanted to um, start a, a culture of blessing in your life and in mine for the start of this year. And so I'm inviting you to uh, just allow me to, to pray uh, over you and, um, and bless you into this new year. And then at the end, I'll tell you how you can be part of something we're doing, um, which is called the 21 Days of Blessing as we move into 2018. So here we go. I'm going to begin by praying, um, particularly around the crossing over. It's always seasons of transition uh, where we sit in a liminal space, a, a threshold season where we cross from one year to the next, from one season to the next, um, are important seasons and they can often be turbulent and hard to manage. So I'm going to pray into that first. So Father, we know that we are loved by you. And we know that you are faithful, that we can come to you in all seasons with confidence in you of your mercy and your presence. Holy Spirit, we recognize your presence in this moment, this time of transition and crossing over. We ask that you would give us the confidence and peace that Joshua and Caleb laid hold of when they looked to the promised land, when they saw into their future and destiny. And we ask that you would equip and train us to lay hold of that same power that enabled them to cross into their promises, to overcome giants of intimidation, to overcome giants of doubt, fear, lethargy, depression, and confusion. Lord, would you sovereignly hold back constriction and waste from your children as they cross over into this new year. Lord, just as the priests carried the ark of your presence over the Jordan River in Caleb's time, would you create a break in the turbulence of transition so that moving into this next stage and chapter is marked by your power and faithfulness. For your beloved child, for your faithful friend listening to this, Lord, I ask that you fill them with your peace now. I bless them with the peace of heaven. I speak shalom over them, over their house. I speak shalom over their spirit, over their soul, over their body, and those you have placed in their hearts, home, and care. Child of the King, I bless you today with strength. <laughs> strength to carry the presence of God through into the new year into new seasons, into new land, into new promises. I bless you with knowing that God is for you, with you, and His kingdom is in you. There is nowhere you are that He is not. You are not alone, never have been, never will be. In Him, whether you acknowledge it or not, you live, move, and have your being. In this past season and in the season ahead, He is with you for you and pursuing you to bless you and bring you into maturity as his child. I ask Jesus that you would remove now all trauma bonds to time that are attached to this season of crossing over, where the trauma of past events in times of transitions have made way to fear and anxiety and worry. I ask Jesus that you would simply come to your child right now reach back through time and space as you do so well and just begin to lift off the heaviness and trauma, things that are triggering off and have come to the surface in this time of transition. So child, I want to bless you for the year ahead. <laughs> Even if it contains trials and tribulations, my prayer is that you will move into it with fullness of faith and confidence that God is for you, and if He is for you, who can be against you? I bless you with hope and renewal for the year ahead. I bless you with 2 Corinthians 4.16, knowing that your inner self is being renewed day by day, even year by year. I bless you with Romans 15.13, and join with Paul praying that the God of hope fill you with all joy, 
and peace in believing, so that the power of the Holy Spirit may abound in hope. I bless you with knowing that Jeremiah 29, 11, it, it declares that God's plans for you are not calamity, but His intentions are to do you good, to give you a hope and a future, to bless and prosper you. And if you hit rough times, which tends to happen, I bless you with Job 13, 15, that you may join with Job in being able to say that though he slay me, I will hope in him. So friend, I bless you with hope and joy in the Holy Spirit for the year ahead. I bless you in knowing that the Prince of Peace has made his home in you. That his joy is your strength. May the year ahead of, may the year ahead be full of love ambushes from your heavenly Father. May you come to know the living word in a new light. I bless you with fresh revelation of the kingdom of heaven that brings a shift to your inner and outer world. May the year ahead be one of abundance and outstanding provision, that the reaping would overtake the sowing, that the prosperity in relationships, finance, and health would flow from the throne of God straight into the world around you. May his kingdom not only come, but be firmly established over you in 2018. Most of all, most of all, may the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God lift up his countenance, his presence, his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes to allow me to pray that for you. Um, it, it really is an honor, and I thank you for that. What I want to do is invite you to join me for 21 days of blessing. This is going to start. This is, this is, one, this is the first video you're watching, and we're going to move through from the 1st of January through to the 20th, where I'll be reading from John's Gospel. I'll share a little reflection from John's Gospel, um, and then pray a, a particular and specific blessing over you from that text um, and, and the things that God highlights during that time. And this is so that we can begin the new year uh, in, in a culture and an atmosphere of blessing. And it would just be an honor and privilege to be able to do that for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a description of where you can join this particular group um, for this 21 days. Um, there's no obligation, cost anything. It'll just mean that if you join the groups, you'll get the updates, you'll be able to see the videos and you'll be able to share them as well. If you want to share this video with your friends as a as a reach out to say, hey, bless you guys in the new year, please do that. My name's David Tenson from Leader Heart, and, uh, and I look forward to seeing you prosper in 2018. Shalom and blessings.